What's up everybody? Today I'm going to start a new developer channel for um, just uh, pretty much do segments on building an application. Today I'm going to start a console application. Um, uh, let me pick where I'm going to set this file at. We're going to start a new application. Not sure what we're going to build yet. Just going to go pretty much start and kind of wing it to begin with. <laughs> it's pretty pretty much bad practice to do it that way, but whatever. We do what we want to do in this develop in this channel. So let's get to it. So creating a console application and to get the basics, pretty much starting of the program. And I'm going to rename this real quick. Cool, cool, cool. And just going to try to get something to pop up. I'm not sure who my, um, pretty much who I'm going towards for this pretty much channel, but if you have any suggestions, let me know. Feel free. I'm pretty much up to anything at this point. I'm a horrible speller, by the way, so don't judge my spelling skills whatsoever. So this is pretty much the main um, action in the main class. Pretty much what starts the whole application. Oh shit! Oh, I already screwed that up. I can't call it fucking baby. All right. There we go, sweet. Cause I, I had to have to make it a constructor, but that's the reason why it didn't work. But let's see what happens once we start the application. Just make sure it still works. Sweet, channel popped up. Hello world. Not sure what exactly I want to do yet, but probably going to start it with an introduction some sort so I can create a new um, action which make it a static method static void well what do I want it to return probably nothing because all the console.write line is going to be in here and let's just say intro intro story maybe I don't know and what does it bring come in brings in nothing Sweet. So let's move this hello world into here and see what happens. Do, 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 do. And then call this method in here intro story. And hopefully, it still brings up the hello world to begin with. Sweet. Looks like everything's working. And once I click this, it should end which is why I put that in the end of there but there's also a way to in the settings to make it so it does that automatically but don't want to do that right now because I like having the option of taking it off easily in the code instead of just manipulating settings but cool got it to say hello world let's see if we can some input some information from the user um so I'm going to write that then next thing is going to be well, probably, probably bad practice to do it the other way. I believe it's new space, new line. What is your name? All right, and console dot read line, and set that to a variable, some sort character name. That should be one word. And just to test to see if this works. Let's see what happens. So I should pretty much it here the whole way through. Let's see what happens. Oh. Um. Sweet. 
awesome so far so good not running into any issues so this is pretty much not scripted at all <laughs> so if I run into diff um, some difficulties you deal with it with me which is probably hopefully you guys enjoy that just seeing how a problem solve as a developer um cool so we're able to get the character's name so I'm probably gonna create a new um, class just for the character information itself just so I'll have somewhere to store all this stuff uh, let's create where am I doing what's oh, in here duh cool then we're gonna add new item huh what the hell it's weird Here, one sec. It's supposed to add a new class somehow, but for some reason it's not giving that information. Huh. That's weird. I have not came across this issue before, but whatever. I'm gonna just copy this and paste it in here. So, and call this some um, character. So we should be able to reference this through the program class. I just need to change some things. No, this is gonna have that information. Yeah, and that's correct a namespace for now. Character. Probably spelled that wrong, but you guys probably let me know. <laughs> All right, but gonna create a new, pretty much class to manipulate into this character class. Um, I mean a new property. So public static. Mm. No public string. Um, let's call it character name. No, oh, just name in general. That makes more sense. So properties are always capitalized, I believe, for best practices. And let's create a new object. Hmm. For right now, I'm gonna just add it up here. Public. Um. Gotta be using. Oh shit. How do I reference this again? There we go. Um, main user. Close new. Cool. Then from here, I can set this to. Hmm. Make it private, actually, because I'm only want to be able to use it in here. I don't know why I have to create a static class. I'll get back to you guys in the next episode on that, but I believe that shouldn't be the way I'm doing that. But just for the point of seeing if they actually manipulates this user type and adds a name, see what happens. So let's just debug this. Well, 
just manually debug. Ooh, yep, that's what I thought. Break. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that shouldn't work. Whatever. We'll do this the right way, anyways. Just new character. How do you spell that? It doesn't look right. Let's check. Yeah, that's how you spell it. <laughs> cool. Do, 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 do. Alright, why is this complaining? Look at this real quick. Pass this object to this class, so it's going to be a character type. Mm -hmm. All right, then let's see if this works again. Sweet. All right, just going to do it that way for now. I'll go back and clean up this code in a little bit. Let me see how we're doing in time. Cool. Alright, well for now I'm going to stop it at that segment. We'll continue on with this pretty much with another part, but thank you for watching my first video. Let me give me some feedback and look forward to the next video.